Listening to the speakers here. Let me see what it sounds like. Google Pixel 6 added to the stack. Woo! What up, y'all? All right, so your boy is hype, man. I'm hyped for the brand new M1 Pro MacBook Pro 14 inch, 512 gigabytes of storage, 16 gigs of unified memory, 8 core CPU, 14 core GPU, man. Ah. All the goodness right here in house, man. And I'm gonna be unboxing this bad boy, showing you the size of it. And also, man, I'm gonna also compare it to my, uh, this is my 15 inch 2015 MacBook Pro. This has been the trial and true. Uh, this is kind of like my my first OG baby right here, but we are gonna put that off to the side. Ah, y'all, y'all don't have no idea how hype I am for this, man. I've been waiting for this for like the longest, y'all. So let's go ahead and take this bad boy out, man. Let's go ahead and pull the tab real quick. Oh, let me turn it around right here. All right, I know y'all like this part. Easy little, easy little Apple pull tab. Take all of that off like so. Little box shape. Whoo, all right, cool. Let's put that down to the side. Here we go, man. We got the brand new, whoo, this bad boy is, okay. It is definitely thicker for sure. Let's go ahead and take the paper off here real quick. Ooh, I like the bottom now, man. They got actually on the bottom here. Uh, you can see right here, y'all, it says MacBook Pro right here at the bottom. Now, it's kind of cool because the top still has like that flat, top design uh that you kind of get with the 15 inch that i had so this is the 15 inch right here and then you can kind of see here it still has like that flat like style design which is dope uh now i did get it in the space gray model because i feel like look guys space gray space gray everything or you don't get it at all man. this bad boy here definitely has kind of like the thicker old school model but just like a little bit of a modern flair with it uh that i gotta say is something that i do like man it is definitely uh Definitely throwback vibes for sure. All right, so let's see what else we get into the box here. We get, uh, we got some design by Apple stuff. Now, I've been seeing that we get black stickers. So we get black stickers. I don't actually ever use these stickers, but it is kind of dope for those people who do. Now here, y'all, I get the power brick as well. All right, so the other thing we get here, y'all, is we get the brand new, or I guess I would say new redesign uh, into today's world, the brand new MagSafe charging that we get now that has been brought back to the MacBook. If I can get, if I can get it out of here. <laughs> Man, I still ain't got it. There we go. <laughs> All right, then we got brought back to the MacBook Pros, which I'm hyped for because how many times have y'all been out there, man, you done had your MacBook Pro plugged up and then you accidentally like trip over the cord. Now, one thing I will say, man, this cord is actually pretty long. Uh, it's probably looking at probably maybe like a five foot-ish cable. Uh, don't quote me on that, but that's what I'm thinking. So we got it to be able to plug right here into the side. It just fits in there like a glove, man. Ooh, it's strong in there too. All right, so boom, you just put it right there. And what's dope is like, say you trip over the cord, you can just boom, boom, right out. And you ain't got no problems, no problems at all. Boom, snaps in there. I love that, man. I'm glad they brought that back. Now, one of the things I wanna do is go ahead and power this bad boy up. You know, that first sound as it come on. Ooh, this bad boy looks good, y'all. Okay, we got the Apple. Ooh, got the Apple sound right there. Man, we got the Touch ID right here in the top right corner. Now, one of the things that they did do with this machine is they removed the touch bar at the top. Now, I gotta be honest with y'all, man. I wasn't a huge fan of the touch bar at the top. One of the things I didn't like about the touch bar was simply the fact that it was kind of like in the way. Now, I didn't use it as much on my other machine that I had. And let me just show you guys what I'm talking about for those that don't know what I'm talking about. Talking about this touch bar that is right here at the top. So they pretty much brought back the uh, F keys that we usually are used to when it comes to computers in general. Uh, let me go ahead and just do. The main language. Okay, Press okay. The All right, let me get set up here. Hold up, Apple. You talking to me? Give me a minute. <laughs> now, one thing that I like right off the back is, is the keyboard travel. Uh, if honestly, it's pretty much the same as what we got in the previous model. So there's really not gonna be any change there. So if you like the keyboard on that one, you're gonna like it on this one. Now it is a change from my 2015 MacBook Pro, which I actually like this better than my 2015 when it comes to the keyboard. So shout out to Apple for that. Now, one of the main things that I'm hyped for about this machine, y'all, is the ports. Now, as you guys can see right here, y'all, we got an HDMI port, we have a Thunderbolt port here. We also have the return of the SD card slot, y'all, which I'm hyped for. Then if we flip this bad boy around right here, we got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, two additional Thunderbolt 4 ports, and then also that MagSafe charging port right here. Now, there is a difference when it comes to this machine in comparison to something like my older 2015 MacBook Pro that I had, is you do lose a port 
I was kind of hoping that Apple would come out with a way that they could do the MagSafe and then also still have like USB-C or uh, USB-C or Thunderbolt to be able to run through that cable. That would have just been next level. But with this machine here, as well as the 16 inch model, you do lose a port when it comes to that. But again, not that big of a deal. Now, one of the things you guys will notice on this machine is you do have a notch on the screen. Now I'm gonna be honest with y'all, the notch really doesn't bother me. And the reason why it doesn't bother me is because right here up top here, as you guys can see right here, it's flush with the top of the screen. And basically nothing's gonna go up here anyways. Now, one of the things I want to do here is I want to go ahead and blow this up. And I'm curious if I go to full screen mode, what happens? Now, what you guys will notice here, if you're using this in full screen mode, it's just basically going to use a black bar up here at the top and you're not even going to notice it at all. Now, you do lose a little bit of the screen real estate, but it still fixes it to the point where it's not going to be an issue for you uh, if you guys are edit editing something or if you're just viewing something in full screen mode, like a movie and different things like that. And I'm going to be testing out this here all on the channel so definitely make sure you guys are subscribed for that but nonetheless man i think right off the back i think this machine looks good this screen is absolute fire let me look up some 4k video goodness now i will say using this mug so far y'all is super freaking fast y'all the visuals on man this screen y'all it look so dang good man like ah uh, i can't wait to actually edit some videos on this bad boy because ah it just looks so fire y'all <laughs> that looks fire y'all oh my god video quality on the screen 4k definitely looks good y'all so one of the things i want to do here i want to actually test out listening to the speakers here so let me see what it sounds like google pixel 6 added to the stack Woo! maybe <laughs> i mean we're here now <laughs> yo these speakers sound good so the speakers y'all ain't even gonna lie the speakers sound they sound plenty loud so you won't i don't even think as far as if you're taking this out on the road or something like that you're not going to need external speakers or anything like that because i feel like the audio quality coming out of this is plenty good now one thing off the back you guys will notice about this machine obviously is the notch at the top so i want to actually test out the camera in this and just kind of see if the camera quality is actually any good so i'm going to open up photo booth here real quick and uh let's just go ahead and take a quick photo with this bad boy you know, that's my smolder face. <laughs> All right, so uh, let me do a quick uh, video sample here real quick. And I'm just going to throw these up here on the screen for you guys to be able to see. All right, y'all, so this is a quick video sample test uh, using the M1 Pro 14-inch MacBook Pro. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below if the audio quality is good, as well as what y'all think about the video quality here on this MacBook Pro. So there y'all have it, man. That is my initial unboxing impressions with this MacBook Pro here. This is the base model 14-inch. M1 Pro. My first initial impression with this, y'all, is super positive. Uh, I'm really excited for this machine. Uh, again, I got a ton of video content that's going to be coming out on this machine right here. Now, one thing I will say, it is a bit on the heavier side when it comes to a 14-inch MacBook Pro. I personally think the 14-inch size is the way to go as far as like being that sweet spot. And I personally think that 16 might just be a little bit too big if you guys are looking for something that's going to be more smaller, compact, and more like easily be able to travel because the one thing you have to think about with this machine is it is a bit on the thicker side than what we're used to so here is a side-by-side -side comparison of what I'm actually talking about in regards to the sizing of it you can see right here this here on here is my older 2015 this is the slimmer version that we are used to and then we have here which is the new one which is a little bit on the thicker side uh now i'm gonna be honest with y'all i actually prefer this smaller form factor that we're kind of used to but i do also understand having it a little bit beefier is going to give us a little bit more performance um, as far as far as the airflow allowing it not to be able to throttle down and different things like that. So nonetheless, y'all, man, I'm hyped for this machine. I got a ton of content that's going to be coming y'all way on this. So definitely make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Other than that, man, appreciate y'all watching. See y'all in the next one. Squad. <laughs> Open, it's time to explore. I'm knocking down all of these doors. I say, I say, I say, I say.